Welcome back YouTube. This is the Tightwad again. Uh, today we are looking at my deck. Um, as you can see I've added some new boards, handrails. Also had some stairs put in and they don't match my existing deck at all. Uh, the deck wood is very worn. It's probably been here six or seven years, never been treated. I've only been in the house a few years and I just haven't gotten around to this project. So today we're going to start the process by taking my palm sander and sanding these rough edges. Uh, not going to do any heavy sanding today, uh, just some light sanding over the screw holes and on some of the spindles over here on the steps. They still have some rough edges. I'm also going to sand off where the wood has markings on it. So. Just the initial process, uh, then we'll come back with a pressure washer and clean it up some. And then I have some chemicals that I've purchased that we'll use as well. The sander I'm going to be using is this Rigid Brand Orbital Sander. It's a round bottom sander with a dust collection system. Uh, I'm using 60 grit sandpaper. 60 or 80 is good for sanding off rough surfaces. Uh, we're not looking at getting anything really smooth, but just knocking off the roughness so that we can, when we sand our stain can get a good penetration. All right, Tightwads, it's time to start stage two of the deck prep for staining. Uh, we have our gas-powered pressure washer, the Honda GC190. I have my water line hooked up and turned on, which is the green hose. I have my pressure sprayer line hooked up that connects to my pressure washing wand. Uh, we have the deck cleared off so that we can get started. Uh, you can see we have new wood for the stairs and old wood for the deck. That's kind of in bad shape. Uh, did some test passes here. You can see the color that we're getting. With our pressure washing, I'm gonna come back with a deck cleaner. So this is just the first stage, but we're gonna fire it up and get started. The Honda GC190 is fairly easy to start. Uh, it takes regular gas here. Uh, there's an on-off switch here. So you flip it to on. This is the choke pin. You pull out the choke pin and it's ready to start. Now I'll give it a pull and fire it up. And all that's left once you have your water hooked up is to get the right tip on your pressure nozzle and go to spraying. All right, guys, I purchased this Restore a Deck Cleaner, and I was pressure washing my deck, and it made me think that I should do an experiment to see if pressure washing is necessary before using Restore a Deck Cleaner. So what I've done is I pressure wash one board all the way down to the wood, which people say removes some of the soft wood and may leave ridges. The board above the clean board had one light pass with the pressure washer, and the board above that was just wet. Uh, no pressure washer, no cleaning at all. And I'm going to put the Restore Deck Cleaner on there, let it sit for 15 minutes like it says, and scrub each board with 10 strokes with my scrub brush. And then we'll rinse it off and see what the difference looks like. You can see the Restore Deck Cleaner foams up a lot. And I'm assuming that means it's oxidizing and that's the way it cleans the wood. So we'll give this another 10 minutes and check on it. All right, I let the Restore Deck Cleaner sit on for about 15 minutes. Took my scrub brush and I said 10 before, but I went ahead and did 20 passes back and forth on each board. And we'll get down closer to have a look. 
the lowest board remember was the one that was pressure washed close to the wood the middle board had one pass with a pressure washer and the third board had no passes with a pressure washer so we'll go to a little bit closer and this one's almost perfectly clean but you run the risk of damaging your wood with your pressure washer this one you can still see has a little bit in the grooves uh, a little bit on the end it's just where I probably didn't scrub good enough and the last one has a little bit more still stuck to it now I'm confident with two passes with the restore deck cleaner that all these boards would be as clean as the first one I uh, will test that once I start cleaning the pole deck and I'll let you guys know all right after the experiment I decided to do a light pass with the pressure washer to preserve the wood and then come back with the cleaner and clean the whole deck. You can see that the wood that was more protected came off, or the stains came off quicker and easier. This is where my grill was sitting. You can see it's pretty much down to the bare wood now, uh, but right along the roof line where the gutters are, a lot of the nastiness stuck to the boards a little better. So I have to clean it off. Here's the results of the experiment again. The lowest board being the pressure wash board. The next one up being the lightly um, pressure wash board, just one pass. And then the cleaner. And the third board being just the cleaner. So I'll be getting the cleaner out hopefully tomorrow in a good scrub brush and taking care of the rest of the deck. All right, we got a hard rain this afternoon. Uh, so I didn't get to this part of the project as quickly as I thought I would but I'm going to be using the step one of the restore deck I've already mixed it uh, mixed two-thirds of a cup of the powder to a gallon of water in my pump sprayer I picked up a swiveling deck scrub brush from the local hardware store and I'm about to get started uh, it says to spray this on and wait 15 minutes and then scrub it with a scrub brush and spray it off so I'm gonna do uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with five boards at a time just because I know that's how much I'll be able to get done. Uh, I may have to take a break in a minute. So I'll do five boards at a time until I complete the whole deck. I applied the cleaner pretty liberally to the first five boards and you can already see some foaming. I just sprayed it on. Uh, so we're going to give it 15 minutes and come back and see what it looks like. Uh, see if there's more foam, less foam, but we'll check back in a few minutes. Alright, after 15 minutes it appears that all the bubbling is gone. Uh, we're going to try to scrub and see what comes off. Alright, so I've cleaned a little under half of the deck with the Restore Deck Step 1 Cleaner. Uh, you can see the difference here. You, it's hard to see in the shade, but you can see the difference in the clean boards and the boards that were not clean. So my boards were in pretty bad shape. Uh, looked like they were really grayed out and um, poor quality. But once I clean them, uh, restored to the natural wood tone, I have not put the brightener on yet, so they'll look even nicer once the brightener's done. And I just have a little bit of the deck left to finish. Uh, I also do a light coat over the new wood on the steps to clean off any of the mill glaze that existed. And then I'll come through and use the brightener on the whole deck. All right, deck prep is now finished. I finished scrubbing the deck last night with the Step one of Restore Deck Cleaner. I did the rails. I did the steps. Did the new wood. I did the base of the deck. And then I did step two, which is the brightener. I sprayed it on last night. It had started raining and gotten too dark to take a video of the brightening process, but you can see the wood looks almost new, especially compared to what it was whenever I started the project. Uh, here's the contrast of the old wood on the top step there down to the new wood uh, so not much of a difference once it's stained it should look pretty good I'm pleased with the results it was a lot of work uh, waiting for two dry days so that I can finish the process by staining the deck I just wanted to clarify that I'm no way affiliated with the Restora deck creators I did my research read the reviews and found it to be the highest rated and the best reviewed deck preparation system available. I paid in full for the product including any shipping charges that may have been included. I'm just a big fan of their product and like to recommend it to others.
There are a few things I learned when trying to prep my deck for staining. The first one is to always make sure that you don't hold the pressure washer too close to the wood. This removes the soft wood and leaves the hardwood, which causes ridges. These ridges over time will turn into splinters and will make your deck unsafe to walk on barefoot. Preparing your deck correctly will allow your stain to last a lot longer. Make sure you do the job right the first time. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see the next step in the process for how to stain your deck, click the video in the top left. If you want to see how I treated my house by myself for up to 10 years against termites, click the video in the top right. I use the same chemicals the pros used. Hope you guys have a great day.